I'm assuming this won't work. Oh, no. Okay. I was going to jump on the tent and see if we can just jump over the wall. I'm assuming that wouldn't work, though. All right. Uh, there's a guard there. There's no guards here. Um, there is a guard there and there. Oof. Man, that guy's blind as a bat. Okay, we'll let him go that way. Damn, two guards. I was going to say I could just uh, take the one guard out, continue along. We could whistle. Mm. I might just be able to run through it now and then just go anonymous, but that's not how I want to play this because I want the optional thing, and I don't know if that'll count against me. Okay, can't run and jump over the wall once again. Uh, what would be the best way of doing that? That might be the way to... What we can always do, too, is try and use the game mechanics. Oh. Uh, no, not climb. Where's our whistle prompt? Got to get near people, maybe. Ooh, now there's three, huh? Oh, they didn't give a crap about that. Hmm, smoke bombs. Maybe we could use those? Haven't used those yet. Oh, horse whistle. Did not know we had that. Cool weapons, good to go. Okay. Can we throw said smoke bomb? Do we get like a little arc? No. Okay, there's a cooldown timer, it would seem. So you can have one up maybe at a time. No, hate them! Run, 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 run. Well, uh, <laughs> sloppy but effective. Whew. I'll take it. What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. Sorry about having Marching on Ford Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, okay. which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. Jeez. No nonsense, huh? You're now incognito. I like it. Come on, full sync. Yay! We're a cat. We gotta make our bed. <laughs> All right. Random thoughts aside. Let's see, do we get a fast travel? Oh, actually, uh, screw it. Now that I know we can call our horse, which I'm sure probably most of you were yelling at me about, just call your horse. We will do just that. Hello, horse. Where were you earlier, huh? I left you on the hill. You were not there when I came back. Just saying. Just saying, horse. I will pet you less tonight. I know. Harsh punishment. But, harsh man. Uh, horse, can you swim? <laughs> uh, no wonder the horse didn't wait for me. No, horses cannot swim. Damn horse. What if we put little floaties on his legs? Will he be able to float then? I think this is a very, very serious question that needs to be answered, my friends. All right, let's head on back. Mm -hmm. All right, what are we naming the horse, by the way? We could go with Butt Stallion, of course, but I think we need to go something a little different this time around. So enter in the comments what we need to name our horse. I don't even know if we keep the same horse. It might just be a different one. Oh, uh, uh, really? Uh, that's, I thought that was uh, low enough water. Oh well. Call him Speckled Butt. <laughs> or what was it? Elaine? Elaine? I think it was. 
Elise, what was what was the uh, secret of the crystal secret? I don't know, whatever the unicorn game was that I did for like an episode. Elise? Maybe, a, maybe Elise. It's kind of a derp name, I thought. I don't know. I, I would name it something ferocious. Like Billy. Billy the horse. Does that look like a Billy? Hey, he's two-tone. What happened to your butt, dude? Sitting in the snow. <laughs> Alright. Finally, less filler commentary, more important things like gameplay. <laughs> uh, yet another collective sigh by all the viewers. Ah, the right tavern. Five months later. Uh. In the cold, cold ground. Have we been waiting to ambush him for five months? Hard at work, I see. How did you... <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen. Let us away. <laughs> Interesting to see what the uh, Native Americans think of our uh, gentleman dressed as a red coat. Oh, nice. It's too cold. No more snow. Now it's too goddamn hot. Yep. And humid too. It's a right swamp, I tell you. Oh, the Braddock expedition. Further explained. This battle was part of the French and Indian War. In it, Edward Braddock's forces of 1,500 British regular and militia was decimated by a group of French-led troops half its size. This is not something we talk about much in Britain. Braddock has been sent to capture Fort Duncan at the top of the Ohio River. His officers included young George Washington. Possibly because Washington knew the area, having surrendered at Fort Necessity the year before. Braddock's troops were about 10 miles from Fort Duquesne when they were ambushed by a group of French and indigenous fighters. Braddock's advanced troops were overwhelmed and fell back into the main body of the army. His rear guard didn't hear the order to stop and kept advancing into the main body of the army. The result was chaos. Almost every one of his officers was killed, with the exception of Washington. Braddock himself himself was fatally wounded. Washington had him carried from the field, and he died four days later. An interesting historical note, Braddock gave his officer's sash to George Washington, asking him to preserve it. Washington did. It's still on display at Mount Vernon. That's cool. The battle is also known as Braddock's defeat, but interestingly, no one knows why. I'm kidding, though, if you need to tell me why, if I need to tell you why, I don't think you're really cut out for this. Uh, to say nothing of the mosquitoes. Hmm. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Well, at least he's confident. Oh. Where's your boy Lee? Gone? Hey, why is Charles writing Speckleblood? Return to finish out his service under Braddock. Oh, no, that's a doctor. I imagine the bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Please to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Until he betrays him. <laughs> Which would give us a man inside. Interesting to see, depending on what Precise. angle and context, either a betrayal or... Unless you've underestimated our enemy. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He's more clever than you think. Hello, guys. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Well, you'll help the others to prepare. Follow. <laughs> they come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. <laughs> no doubt. Many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. 
but it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride, to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. Really cool cutscene. Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. I must ensure that Braddock falls. I'll see sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. Alrighty, so kill militia without Wait, triggering open signal. conflict. Oh god, this is whoops. This is gonna be terrible. There, in front of us. The wood's too thick. At this rate, it'll be days before we reach Duquesne. We should fall the river instead. Oh, hey, look, right here. Oh, we must maintain the element of surprise. We're near 3,000 men. One scout is all they Go. need to know of us. And then what? Swiftness would serve us better. So I can just kill any of them without open conflict, and it's fine. Okay, well, this guy came up really close to where I can hide, so... Uh, sure. Oh, look, there's a... Hmm. Why does it want me to kill this one if I can kill any of them? Just, I guess, maybe he's easier. Oh, that guy was pretty easy. Can I kill this guy even in the sight of everybody else? Nope. Oh well. Oh, now that now that we've now that we've uh, killed both of them. Oh, it doesn't matter. We gotta clear the camp now. That's just rough. No, I guess that counts. So cool. How could anyone call this forest home? It's all with the French pushback will be a lot of opportunities for us up north. A lot of people. Oh nice, kilts. Hey George. How you doing up there, buddy? Have served. You mean sir? You are grateful to have served. <gasps> Dude, what a dick. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! Sir. Not subtle at all, Hatham. Where are you off to, Edward? Okay, well, I didn't really see that coming. Uh, destroy powder carts. Press Y to shoot the highlighted target. Okay, have the target's highlighted. Get, get, go, come on. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying, game. Oh, game, come on. It got me stuck right there. Like I said, I'm really bad with the controls in this game. Um, I feel they should be a little tighter personally, but once again, uh, it's probably a shortcoming of me and less game, maybe. Come on. Alright. Oh, I'm trying, game. I'm trying. Reload. Reload. 
reload, 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 reload. Thanks, game. <laughs> I am having issues this episode. I apologize, everyone. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Reloading. There we go. I'm trying really hard to keep up right now. Go! Go, Hatham! Okay, now it's reloading for me. Ah. Oh, I forgot about uh, pressing A. Uh, like I said, uh, controls, not my strong point. <laughs> uh, we're getting through it, though. All by sloppily. Yep, making up. I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! That was a really bad shot. Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. <laughs> Don't. Hurry before he gets away. I said go! Ooh, George Washington getting dumb. I don't deserve this! <laughs> You're a hypocrite, hate them! Oh. Momentarily. Here's a name even you should recognize, George Washington, who will go to be the leader of the army during the American Revolution and the first president of the United States. I was going to say you are probably know everything it's going to tell you, but that would be a lie. What you know is that George Washington has a lot of things named after him, and anything else you learned in school you forgot because you thought you'd never use it in real life. You really should call your history teacher and tell her she was right all along. George Washington was the son of a planter from Virginia. He was raised with little education, but was ambitious, teaching himself mostly from books. Washington started in business early, speculating on land, starting at the age of 18. When he was 20, his older brother died, leaving him the heir of the family plantation at Mount Vernon, when he lived, uh, where he lived until his death, and where you can still visit his grave today. Washington got his military start during the French and Indian War, leading an expedition to Fort Duquesne in 1754, a destination he never reached, having surrendered at Fort Necessity. The next year, Washington headed to Fort Duquesne again, this time as a guide for Edward Braddock during the ill-fated Braddock Expedition. Washington went as a volunteer, hoping that working for Braddock would get him a track to military promotion. Though the battle was a rout, Washington earned credit for organizing the retreat, and later that year, he was made a colonel in charge of the Virginia militia. Washington completely revamped the militia, with hopes that under his organization and training, they would be accepted into the British military. They never were. Washington's, uh, Washington resigned his post in 1758. I won't say the snub led to his contempt for the British, but snubs rarely help. By the late 1760s, Washington had become active in political life, taking on a role in the Virginia House of uh, uh, Burgess. He went on to be a member of the Continental Congress, and when war broke out in 1775, he was Congress's choice to lead the army. At the time, Washington said, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with, which, is, uh, uh, which I'm sure inspired complete confidence in everyone who heard it. Imagine if you were on an airplane and the captain opened with that. It's possible Washington had been falsely modest, but the fact is this. He wasn't a military genius, and he knew it. Though I'm sure it hurts your American pride to hear me say he wasn't perfect. <laughs> Washington had several narrow misses where, he, where the army could have easily been obliterated at Manhattan and again at Brandywine, among others. Washington won an early victory. He broke the siege of Boston, but he then made the disastrous move of fortifying New York, a city he couldn't defend without a navy he didn't have. Even you can work that one out. He spent the latter half of 1776 retreating across New York and New Jersey, losing battle after battle until Christmas, when he pulled off a, success, a successful surprise attack at the Hessian troops at Trenton. And uh, while that battle makes uh, for some famous paintings, and it did rally the flagging confidence of the public, it was a minor victory. I'm sorry, Edward, but you forced my hand. Oops, I just ran along. Here. 